Okay, tiny little clarinet. We're going to talk about her temperament testing scorecard here. So, um, first thing to understand is that low, medium, and high, it's not like low is bad and high is good. That's not how it works. So, it's just a spectrum, kind of like a sliding scale. So, uh, what you'll first notice is I put her into the temperament testing area, and then I see basically what I'm looking for is how does she handle new situations. Um, there's new environments, there's new obstacles, is her tail up, is her tail down, is she exploring, is she frozen? Um, I notice that her tail is high and she's moving kind of slowly and she's observing and just kind of taking it all in. So I gave her a medium for confidence because um, I felt like that was pretty consistent through the rest of the testing as well. She tried everything, she tried like the crinkle tarp, she tried the tunnel, the bridge she eventually tried, um, but really in could use that empowering and encouraging. So try not to coddle her. Um, tell her she can do it so that she believes in herself. Um, if you believe in her, she will believe in herself. Um, if you think that she is too tiny and can't do it all by herself, she will believe the same thing. <clears throat> so we want confident dogs. Empower, not coddle. Uh, next thing you'll notice is I get into the temperament area and then I'm watching how she approaches me. Does she jump into my lap flying for my face? Does she need some coaxing to come over or does she kind of politely walk over and crawl into my lap and kind of look for what's next? I scored her a medium because she kind of crawls into my lap and then politely is like waiting for scritches and kind of looking for like, okay, are we cuddling? What are we doing next? Um, a motivation level and workability. So I scored her a low. Um, what this means is I still think that she's going to be easy to train in terms of like a family pet. If somebody was looking for like an agility dog or really that somebody that really enjoys a lot of training sessions, uh, we would like a higher workability for those dogs. But, but for the average family pet that just wants to train them to, you know, be a house companion or a family companion. It's not a big deal. Um, so <laughs> it's just meaning that she's exploring. She's also a puppy, so she's paying less attention. And um, how badly do they want to please us? She would rather cuddle is the moral of the story. <laughs> Nerve strength and resiliency, the ability to handle stress. So I noticed she yawned once, which is a sign of stress, so I scored her a medium. Otherwise, she was fine. Nothing was kind of like veering her off course. She continued on. She tried everything. Um, so I think she'll handle new situations well. Uh, I don't think they'll be a big deal and that will grow and develop as well. Touch tolerance. So this is not how much they like it. It's how tolerant they are. So think visits to the groomers, visits to the vet. How tolerant are they of this handling? And so I gave her a medium. She did great with all of the 10 step handling. She just didn't really love being turned over like a baby. Um, you can kind of see her arms like start to splay and she's like, I don't super love this. She totally doesn't mind when she's sleepy, um, but like middle of play. So if you're like to take her to the vet or groomers while she's kind of rambunctious, this is probably the typical um, handling that she would get. Energy level. So I gave her a medium. She played and then she slowed down and then she played some more and she slowed down. So I think she'll just be well-rounded. She'll be energetic, um, but she will mellow out and cuddle down when it's time. Uh, sound and sight sensitivity. So I get a loud shaker and I see if she notices and I don't really care if they notice. I'm looking for, do they, it's like, does it, is that a stressor and do they recover? And she didn't even notice. Like she looked up and she was like, oh, that's cool. Um, and <laughs> carried on about chewing with her toy. Uh, and then sight sensitivity. I pop up the tunnel and I see how she does with like sudden movements, um, fast, sudden movements. And again, she like looked over and she was like, oh, that's nice carry on, which can be really helpful if there's like fast kids or jumping around. Chances are she's not going to notice quite as much. Prey drive. I gave her a low because she liked the toys, but she kind of chased the ball. Um, so it could be a medium, but she wasn't super intense about anything. So I, yeah, she doesn't have a super intense prey drive. Human focus, I gave her a medium because she was happy to check in. She really liked her cuddling, but then she was also okay on her own. And she'd kind of wander off, and then she'd come back and check in with me. So she's kind of right in the middle. Tenderhearted, okay, so I like roll on the floor, and I pretend I'm having a fit, and I'm crying, and she comes running over because she's so worried about me. <laughs> uh, so these are the dogs that are going to care when you have a bad day. Um, super sweet. Dog friendliness, okay. So you notice, as soon as I put her in the testing area, she sees the dog and she's like kind of barking at it. Um, so I gave her a submissive because she was like, I really don't want to go over and see that dog. That being said, she loves the dogs in the house. Um, 
definitely think that she will be happy with a playmate. Um, the other dog may just need to be a little bit more assertive to bring that play out of her. She may not be the assertive one all the time. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions about clarinet, let me know.